for the demonstration purpose i'm going to use our previously used annotation demo project so let's open it so here you can see we have a floor plan now always before you make the dimensions or before you add the dimensions you can always make a duplicate copy of the flow plan so let's go to duplicate copy and make a duplicate for level one and then rename this so let me put level one with dimensions next let me go and change it to hidden lines now here you can see this is the floor plan and here we have the doors and windows already present now to start adding the dimensions the first step is we go to annotate from the annotate option we can go to the dimensions panel where we find all the discussed previously discussed dimension so we have a line we have linear angular radial diameter and then arc length so to start with first we'll note we'll see about the align dimension which is the most used so let's select align dimension now you can see the moment you select align dimension option here you will find the option called wall center line and then individual individual reference so here right now it is selected as wall center line and then individual reference so what happens the moment i try to select a wall it will always select the center line of this wall now let's suppose if i would like to make the dimensioning as center line to center line so i can select one of the wall and then go to the second wall and then i can click and place the dimension anywhere next again i can go here and select the other side and i can put the dimension so this is one way we can add the dimension so if individual reference line is selected we can select one element and then dimension the second element let's go back and see the second step so now for example consider you would like to dimension this house from one face to the other wall face so in that case we, what we can do is we can simply go to wall center line and select wall face so select the wall face option and then now you can see it will easily select the wall face of the wall so this is how we can do the dimensioning from inside wall face to inside let's go back now consider for example you would like to create the dimension for this entire wall so from center of this wall to the center of this wall so what i will do let me go back again to align and now again let's select wall center line and then instead of having individual reference this time we are going to use the entire wall option so let's select the entire wall and then select the wall once you select the wall you will notice automatically it will create a dimension starting from the center of one wall to the second center of another wall so this is how you can create the dimension for each wall next let's see what are the different options we have again let me go back to align again now we'll keep this right now as wall center line pick entire wall and this time we'll go and select the options so in the options now you will notice we have an option called opening so we can check mark on openings and now you will see it is selecting as center so click ok and then select the wall so now you will see what it has done it created more dimensions it starting from this wall to this wall it is considering all the other elements or the wall hosted elements which are present in this wall so you can see very clearly it is starting from the center of this wall and taking the center of this window and similarly for the other windows now this one it doesn't look much uh, clear so what we can do let's go back and delete it and let's go back again to align and then in the options we are going to change it to width so select width and then click ok now let's see you will see very beautifully it will create a dimensions starting from the center of wall to the edge of this window and then it will define the dimension another dimension which is giving the thickness of this window similarly you can create this dimension for rest of the wall so let's try this so let's go back to align dimension and let's enter wall and let's keep it wet so let's click ok and then let's add it here now you will notice something whenever it is creating this dimension it is not considering the wall which is present here in the middle so 
if you would like to include these walls also then simply you can go to align go for options and then this time you can use intersecting walls and then click OK now you can let's suppose let's try to select this particular wall you can see so we have the first dimension starting from the center till the center of this particular wall and then to the window and then to the wall so this time it is considering each of the walls which are present in between similarly in case you have the grids present then if and you want to you want the dimensions to use that grids also so simply you can go to options and then you can check mark on intersection intersecting the grids similarly let's suppose you would like to move any or one of the text of the dimension so you can select the dimension and then you can use this midpoint and drag it similarly if you would like to delete any of this dimension you can hover the cursor over here and press the tab key once it is selected you can click and you can make a delete if you would like to change the values let's suppose for example you would want to change the style of this dimension then very easily let's take an example let's go back to annotate again and align and let's suppose I would like to create the dimension for this wall and here instead of getting the tick mark I would like to have an arrow so what we can do we can select this go to edit type and then here you can make all sort of changes so here the tick mark is diagonal 3 millimeter so simply I can go and select fill triangle 2.5 millimeter for example and then click apply you can see here and then similar way I can go and make it arrow arrow fill 15 degree 20 degree or 30 degree so let's go and make it 15 degree click apply and you can see instead of having the tick mark we can get this arrow so this is how simply you can create the dimensions let's suppose I would like to dimension the inside of this room so simply I can go to align and let's suppose I would like to do it individual reference so I can go and select the individual reference and from wall face to wall face so let's select this and then I can select from this wall to this wall similarly I can go for this one and then I can assign the wall here the dimension for this wall now in case let's suppose you would like to show the dimensions in meters instead of in millimeters then simply you can type un as you know before and then go for length and here you can go and change the unit to meters and then click ok so now you can see all the units change to meters with zero decimal place if you would like to add the decimal place you can go to unit again go to length and then for the rounding I can use two decimal places and then click ok so now your dimensions will be visible in meters so this is how you can use align dimension to dimension the element building elements let's see how we can use other commands so for example let me go and delete this side and then we can select the linear dimension so as we know it can be used for only 0 degree 90 degree 180 and 270 so I can select any one of this dimension let's select I would like to dimension it from this face to this face you can see so this is how you can use I can go back again to linear so let's try to use any one of the elements so let's suppose from this point to this point this is how you can use the linear dimension let's go and see for the angular let's suppose I would like to give the angle of this corner so simply you can select angular dimension and you can select one face and select the second face and it will give you the angle as 90 degree let's suppose let's go for the radial and diameter so for example let's suppose you have a wall which is in a circular form or let's suppose it is in arc form so we can go and select like this and you would like to dimension this using the radius or diameter we can go to annotate and then select radial and I can select this arc uh, this arc wall and then you can see this is the radius of this arc, uh, arc wall in meters similarly I can go and select the diameter and you can see this is the diameter so I hope you like this video